I acknowledge that this meditation is being recorded on occupied land historically belonging to the Tongva and Tatavian peoples of the LA Basin. Hi and welcome to today's meditation. We are in the midst of the chakra series and today we will be working with the causal chakra. Now this is not a chakra that most people work with on a regular basis. It's not super common. It's actually outside of the body. Um, it is about a foot, six inches to a foot behind your head. It is in the shape of a yoni. It's in your aura, in your energy field. And it is our connection to time space, essentially. Um, the energy of time space comes through there and through our third eye and out. So the past or the future is behind you. The past is in front of you. I know it's weird, but there you go. Um, and it's also our connection to uh, the Akashic Records. So this is an important chakra to work with if you are chronically late, if you want to have a, an improved experience with time um, and also space. Um, I like playing with this one while I'm driving. Um, not going into a meditation or anything, but just playing with the energy of it uh, so that I get places in a more timely fashion. Um, so uh, just as uh, an example, um, I, a friend of mine got out of the Marines on terminal leave and I flew out back east to drive back with him. Uh, we were driving the um, a, a U-Haul type thing that had a governor on it. And so we couldn't go above 65 and we're going through New Mexico. He had fallen asleep. I did my usual thing because I was bored because parts of New Mexico are not particularly exciting. And uh, he woke up, he said, where are we? I told him the last sign we had passed. And he said, that's impossible because the car, the, the vehicle won't go that fast. And I was like, <laughs> so I have some experiential uh, evidence to say that this absolutely works. Okay, so make sure you're not going to be disturbed. Turn off all of your other electronics. Turn off the ringer on your phone. Turn off the alerts on this machine. And find a comfortable position. Um, this meditation, I suggest that you be sitting up, but if you need to be laying down, that is fine. If you need to be reclining, that is fine. And you can allow your eyes to gently close or simply take on a soft gaze. And start to focus on your breathing, allowing your breath to lengthen and slow. Feeling the air coming into your body as you inhale. Feeling the air leaving your body as you exhale. Feel your chest expand and contract. Notice what other muscles in your body engage as you breathe. You may feel the breath in your abdomen. You may feel the breath in your back. You may feel the breath in your hips or your shoulders or your neck. Just allow yourself to be aware of what it feels like physically when you breathe. Just 
And imagine that there's an energy or a color cloud that comes with your breath, that you can breathe more deeply into your body than the breath itself. So that you can imagine breathing this energy or this color cloud down into the space behind your belly button. And imagine that this energy or this color cloud begins to loosen the space in between the cells in your body. So that you can release and relax as you exhale. And imagine breathing this energy or this color cloud down into your hips and your tailbone. Loosening the space in between the cells so that it's easier for you to release and relax. As you exhale, and imagine breathing this energy or this color cloud down into your thighs, filling you front and back. Loosening the space in between the cells. So that it's easier for you to release and relax as you exhale. And imagine breathing this energy or this color cloud down into your lower legs and your feet, filling your toes, your arches, your heels. Still loosening the space in between the cells so that it's easier for you to release and relax as you exhale. And as you continue to imagine breathing this energy or this color cloud down into your feet, you can also imagine breathing it down your arms, into the tips of your fingers. Loosening the space in between the cells. so that it's easier for you to release and relax 
as you exhale. And you can add to this, imagining breathing the energy or the color cloud up into your head so that as you inhale, you are filling your entire body from head to toe to fingertip with this imagined energy or color cloud. Loosening the space in between the cells so that it's easier to release and relax as you exhale. And allow your attention to drop all the way down into the soles of your feet. And imagine that you have roots growing out of the soles of your feet that go down through the floor of the room that you're in and through the building and the foundation down into the topsoil beneath and into the bedrock. And allow these roots to continue growing down through all of the various layers of the earth even through the crust and the magma and into the heart of the planet where they embed themselves, connecting you to a limitless supply of energy that is your birthright by virtue of you being here on the planet. Furthermore, they connect you to your earth seed, that part of yourself that exists within the heart of the planet. And the energy of this space begins to gather around the ends of your roots, strengthening, thickening, growing. Until there's so much energy that it comes up into your roots, up through all of the various layers of the earth. through the bedrock and the topsoil, and the foundation of the building that you're in, and the building itself, and the floor of the room. And the energy comes up into the soles of your feet 
Feeling your toes, your arches, your heels. It swirls up into your ankles. Cleaning and clearing. Dissolving away toxins and blocks. Balancing. The energy swirls up into your shins and your calves. Still clearing, still cleaning. Still dissolving toxins and blocks. Still balancing. And the energy swirls up into your knees, into your thighs, filling them front and back. Clearing and cleaning. Dissolving away toxins and blocks. Balancing. And the energy comes up into your hips and your tailbone. Clearing and cleaning. Soothing, dissolving away toxins and blocks, balancing. And the energy swirls up into your lower abdomen, dissolving away toxins and blocks, clearing and cleaning. Soothing and balancing. Allowing you to release old emotions. And the energy swirls up to the level of your solar plexus, filling you front and back, filling all of the internal organs in this region. Cleaning and clearing. Dissolving away toxins and blocks. Soothing and balancing. Allowing you to release anything that you've been chewing on.
Breathe the energy up into your heart, into your lungs, into your upper back. Clearing and cleaning. Dissolving away toxins and blocks. Soothing. Balancing. Easing the muscles in your back. And the energy spills down your arms all the way down into the tips of your fingers. Perhaps even pooling in the palms of your hands. The energy swirls through your shoulders, cleaning and clearing, dissolving away toxins and blocks. Balancing and soothing. Helping you to release expectations. And the energy swirls up into your neck and your throat, cleaning and clearing. Dissolving away toxins and blocks. Balancing. Helping you to release anything that remains unsaid.
and the energy swirls up into your jaw, your mouth, your ears, your nose, your eyes, the back of your head. fills your pineal gland in between the two hemispheres of the brain. Cleaning and clearing. Dissolving away toxins and blocks. Balancing. The energy swirls up to the top of your head where it builds, thickening, strengthening. Until there's so much energy that it spills out the top of your head, cascading down around you in a never ending fountain of energy that sinks back down into the ground beneath you. Repairing and strengthening your energy field. Allow one thin thread of that energy to go up from the top of your head, circling behind you, coming back in through the base of your skull, going back out the top of your head, all the way up into the heart of the universe. So that you are connected through your roots to the planet and through your crown to source. And send your attention into that space behind your head. where that energy circles around. Feel the energy opening your chakra back there. Feel the energy flowing from that space through the center of your head.
and out your third eye at the front of the brow. and send your attention through that opening. You find yourself in a library or a data storage of sorts. However it appears is fine. This is your connection to it. and find your book or volume or file and allow it to make you aware of your purpose in this lifetime of what it is you've come to learn or do or create. And don't judge it or analyze it. You can always do that later. Just allow yourself to receive. and become aware of how much time and space are part of the illusion of separation from the all.
and how they allow us to take very dense energy and parse it out into more manageable, smaller bits. So that our learning, our experience is that much more visceral. Because time is an illusion, how you approach it, how you work with it, what you say about it, absolutely ex affects your experience of it. Bring your awareness back through the causal chakra into your physical form. Becoming aware of the soles of your feet. And the tips of your fingers. And the back of your head. Make a commitment to yourself. The next time you find yourself saying or thinking that you don't have enough time. To changing that to you have enough time. Or even I have all the time in the world. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretch if you need to. And whenever you're comfortable doing so, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Making a commitment to yourself. To remember the tools that you've learned today. And to use them to the best of your ability. Have a lovely day.